Former Strictly Come Dancing star James Jordan has criticized the box-ticking mentality sweeping the showbiz industry, in a stunningly defiant defense of white, heterosexual men. The 45-year-old, who performed as one of Strictly's professional dancers between 2006 and 2013, has urged TV bosses to forget about diversity quotas otherwise certain sections of society will be wiped from our screens. He even took a swipe at the show he appeared on for seven years, as well as Dancing on Ice, which he won in 2019, when asked who he thought should present the ITV program alongside Holly Willoughby, now that Philip Schofield has departed the broadcaster. He insisted it should be a man and when asked if Dancing on Ice should follow in Strictly's footsteps by having two female presenters, Tess Daly and Claudia Winkleman, Jordan told the Daily Mail, no. Stop trying to tick boxes all the time. Have a man and a woman present dancing on ice. I like to see men present as well, otherwise we're going to see no white, heterosexual men on TV anymore. Don't miss. Drivers warned they could be slapped with £5,000 fine for wearing sunglasses, latest, Jordan, married to another Strictly dancer Inola Grabowska, who won the seventh series of the show, with Chris Hollins in 2009, hopes that ITV choose one of the Chase host Bradley Walsh, dancer Jordan Banjo or radio DJ Vernon Kay to replace Schofield on the popular entertainment show. Jordan also revealed that it was his father's death from a brain tumor in 2021, aged 67, that saw him fall out of love with dancing, while he also put on nearly five stone during the coronavirus pandemic. Ola also wasn't immune from expansion, as her weight ballooned by nearly four stone, but the two of them knuckled down and launched a fitness website, Dance Shred. It combines learning how to dance with functional training and between them they have since lost over seven stone. Military map exposes Russia's Black Sea Fleet training dolphins at major port, latest, when asked how they had lost so much weight, Jordan told The Sun, we simply put less in our mouths. Last year we were doing the opposite. It's a mind over matter thing and no excuses. But we knew we had to do something about it, because we were an unhealthy weight. Lots of people make excuses, and we would put ourselves in that category as well.